Hello family, and welcome to Cooking with Norma. Today, we're gonna make our dinner quickie. It's a quickie that you don't need a husband, a boyfriend, a partner, no one. It's just you in the kitchen having fun preparing a good wholesome dinner meal, fast and frugal. So today for our dinner quickie, what we're gonna do is I've purchased from my favorite store some butterfly cut pork chops. We're gonna have a little French green beans and along with our pork chops, we're gonna have a side of applesauce. So I've already sliced uh, the ends off of my French, to, uh, French green beans and I've also chopped up a little green onion that's gonna go in the pan. So I'm gonna take the pork out, I'm gonna rinse it off, and then I'm gonna season it up. Gonna slice the apple with my apple slicer here. And then I'm also gonna put a couple pieces in little fine chunks, or little fine strips, should I say, so that it'll fit inside the pork chop. So we've washed off our pork chop and we're just gonna season it really heavy with salt and pepper. Uh, we're gonna season it in the center. We're gonna season it on the outside. And then what you'll see is, is we also have uh, in the pan right now, we started a little bit of onion and garlic, which is what we're gonna cook this in, along with, of course, some grapeseed oil. We're gonna slice up our apple. I'm gonna push this forward so you can see. So I'm just gonna use my apple cutter. <laughs> and then I'm gonna slice a couple pieces uh, a little bit thinner so that they can fit down inside the pork chop really well. Only about maybe three slices. And that's all we need. So we have our pans over here simmering. We have a little bit of our grapeseed oil from my favorite store. We have some red onions and garlic simmering right here. We're gonna drop the green beans down in there. And this is the fryer that we're gonna use for our pork chop. So instead of putting uh, garlic uh, and onions uh, on the pork, this time I'm putting it down in the pan so that the oil will have the taste. Sometimes I grate the garlic and the onions over top of the meat. Uh, it depends on what kind of taste I want the meat to have. Uh, because we're adding this meat with uh, apples, and you'll see in just a second, the apples are gonna be caramelized and glazed. They're gonna have a bit of a sweet taste. We really want the meat to have a little bit of a salty taste so we get that salty sweet. So, you can see the onions and the garlic are starting to caramelize, and I'm just going to drop this meat down on it. Let it fry. And in this pan, I have a little bit of oil going, and I'm just gonna drop the apples down in there. I like my apples to be a little firm, so I'm only gonna cook these for about uh, two to three minutes. Uh, if you like your apples soft and like applesauce, you just cook it longer. I'm gonna add a little nutmeg, if I can open it. I'm gonna add a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon. Gonna mix that around and my sweet plant-based agave. And that's all it takes. We're gonna drop our green beans down so that they can start cooking. I'm actually gonna turn it up because I want them to almost flash fry. Gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to the green beans, and then we're gonna add a little chicken broth, and then we're gonna let them simmer. Salt and pepper. And again, I'm turning this up because I really want it to flash fry. So this time we're cooking everything all at one time because we want it to come out all together. So 
So we're gonna let this meat cook for about a minute and a half on each side. Then we're gonna open it up, let it cook for another minute and a half. Then we're gonna close it, put a top on it, put the apples in the pan with it, make a little bit of caramelized glaze, and it'll be done. And as you can hear, my green beans are starting to sear. I want the apples to cook a little on both sides. So I'm actually just gonna lay them down flat and flip them to the other side. Uh, another trick, if you'd like your apples to be soft, another trick is to add a little bit of water. You add a little bit of water and make them soft and then you can mush them up just like applesauce. So we are done on that side. Pork, of course, is the other white meat. I like mine very white. Not quite pink, but definitely very, very light white. So these green beans are like fresh, flash fried. I'm gonna add just a little bit of chicken stock. That gives it a little bit of flavor. And then I'm gonna add some water. like old-fashioned green beans. Sometimes I throw a little meat in there if I have a little prosciutto or something. Most times I just do it with a little chicken broth, onions, and a little garlic. That's all it takes. This meat is ready on the other side. And now we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I almost want it to be a little crispy fried too. I'm gonna take my apples off the, off the eye, because again, I don't like my apples to be very soft, and I know I'm gonna cook them just a little bit longer with the pork. So what we did after we cooked the pork chop and let it simmer on the other side was we took the apples and we added them to the inside. We added some to the top and we turned the fire off just so that it could sit here in its own natural heat and cook the rest of the way. Remember I said I like my pork chop very, very uh, white. So not cooked a lot, slightly pink. Um, not really undercooked, but definitely not cooked all the way. I don't like dry pork. So therefore, I'm just letting it simmer and letting the heat from the pan cook it the rest of the way versus having the heat uh, full blast and cooking it. To me, it makes pork a little dry when you do that. And I like to be able to cut into my pork chop and have the juice run out. And I'll show that to you. The green beans are simmering. Uh, they are now simmering down in their own, uh, making their own kind of juice there along with the chicken broth. And we will be ready to plate in less than a minute. So there you have it, a dinner quickie in less than 20 minutes. We have again, a little pork chops with apple, a little green beans. You can have it with your favorite cocktail which today I just had vodka and soda, club soda, or you could also have it with your favorite bottle of red wine. And that is your dinner quickie for today. You don't need a boyfriend, you don't need a husband, you don't need a partner, just you, a good meal, good music, and good cocktails.